Waste making and, and, and a city of shareable neighborhoods and connected with all their neighbors and a place where all classes are outside. And apartment buildings will be the friendliest place to live. Hi, my name is Eric. Daisy. Anita. Rachel. Owen. We're fourth year environmental science students from UBC. We are working on water quality assessment in Falls Creek. We want to create a better understanding of how humans influence water quality. We have this project, we have to improve it with less knowledge of the local environment. Our Vancouver 100 years from now is a green community that has a deeper appreciation and awareness of the place we live in. Hey, we're BCIT students in the uh, fourth year architectural science degree, and this is what we do. So we're working on city studios. False Creek Flats. In a hundred years, I hope Vancouver is the greenest place to work on the planet. It could happen at any moment. You'll be at home, at school, or at work. Move on? Alright, let's go man, let's go. I'm Angus. I'm Clint. I'm Oliver. I'm Jamie. And we're from the UBC Sawyer School of Business in uh, sustainable real estate development. And we just did a project on urban beekeeping. Uh, and in a hundred years, we hope to see more urban farms and local food production. What does your Vancouver look like in a hundred years? Like this. Green. Not everything's going to be green. Right, the clothes you wear, the bags you carry. Less waste. Under 100 years, people who don't recycle will be seen as weird people. Also, recycling products become new products. These sleeves, hopefully, in like 100 years. A lot of wooden bowl ties. People who use grocery bags make from broken umbrellas. I think it looks like everything feeds into one another. Integrated. People working together. 